Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I will start by removing the intake and uh, I hope I can uh, change the uh, accessories uh, support that is broken from the accident. So in order to remove the intake, I have to unscrew this. So I have to remove the oil filter. Hi everybody, <clears throat> it is a few days later since I removed the air intake, so the water pump, the water pump and the thermostat housing was broken, so I had to wait a, a week or so to get a replacement part for this. So uh, now let's... Uh, get back on work and uh, fit the accessory support 
the new used water pump I already test fit it okay so let's remove here it is okay let's go So the water pump, the coolant pump is uh, installed. Now since I removed the air intake, I've seen that this, uh, I don't know how this, these plates are full with uh, carbon. So that is not good for the engine. So I uh, will clean them before I install back the air intake so let's remove this I hope they are all the same so the inside is a little bit dirty but I don't have how to clean them safely so I let them write how they are. Okay. This is how I clean this. Uh, this is a carbon from uh, the intake. I I've seen uh, this morning uh, an ad on Facebook about uh, cleaning this with uh, hash hash o is. Uh, uh, hydrogen uh, solution but uh, I bet that is not working this is a uh, uh, this is not the bottle from the this is a uh, from another sub from another uh, thing is not uh, automotive used uh, in this bottle is um, Mafra engine cleaning solution is very good. I recommend it. Since I'm on cleaning, I will clean this uh, accessory support. <laughs> so look how hard is it, it is to clean this. And think how the little holes with some substance put in the intake can do to this. Nothing. They are scammers. So the uh, soda. This is a powerful substance. it this will not fall with uh, hush hush or cleaning or 
decarbonification from the streets. No way. No, this is metal. So after 30 minutes in this substance, they are still not getting clean enough. So uh, I uh, tried on this one with the razor blade to get the, the big piles out. And I think it's working. So if you can clean this with a razor blade and some chemical, powerful chemicals. How do you think they can clean this with the hose on the side of the road? This is not possible. They are scamming people. A friend of mine, um, Lucian from uh, Clean Look Tuning, made a video about uh, this carbon cleaning stuff is a tuner so it's having a dyno we tested the a car made the so-called carbon cleaning on from the side of the road with that uh, <coughs> machine and uh, tested the car again on dyno and uh, there was some uh, power lost after uh, the cleaning so even if this stuff gets into the in, to your engine so if the cleaning works how they say they work this stuff getting into your pistons will damage your, your engine
So we are on the wires now. I fitted the, the air intake, the alternator, one compressor that I have here. So just to see that the position all is good. I will change that later. So let's uh, repair the airflow. The no, this is the turbo pressure sensor. One by one. I uh, did manage to start the engine but I had a water leak on the water pump it is uh, very hard to get to it I had to remove some uh, pipes from the air intake it uh, was I think a bad ceiling I put some uh, silicone in the now it is okay it's not leaking anymore i use water just for testing and now uh, let's put it back together
All installed, the air intake, the intercooler, the water radiator, let's see if I have some juice to start it. Huh? So I have a, a Christmas tree in my dash, the water uh, sign, the check engine is uh, off, the airbag is on because of the crash data, we'll fix that later, and the ECP light is on because uh, the battery was removed, but when I will uh, move uh, the car 10 20 meters ahead straight we'll uh, we'll get off so that's it for uh, this video i will uh, try to do some mods so uh, this was this uh, video was boring it was just technical stuff getting screws off putting them then together Let's see if I, ca if I can do the needle uh, sweep. So this is the standard. No needle sweep, no RS module, no nothing. I will uh, get my uh, laptop in here and uh, we'll try some uh, stuff from the net. So now I have activated the uh, needle sweep one second to focus how is done so oh, let me move the air back back my phone other phone in here so Let me see if I can do this. So, <clears throat> I read the prom using the instrument can special function. This is a, a FVDI programmer that I'm using. Now it's reading the file you will get the file from the dashboard this is the modified uh, file so on this address 060 where is b2 now was 92 so if i put in this uh, so software that you can find on the internet 92 92 you will see that uh, bit number five is not check it out if you check bit number five you'll get b2 you put b2 there and you need to change the 61 address that is 5e now and uh, in my case was uh, let's see load from file i will load the original file open so it was 0b if i can if i put 0b there 0 and b you will get this so you need to activate bit number two uh, if you activate bit number two is zero if that will not work 
What did I do? I've seen on the internet and some videos that in order to work you need to activate bit number 6, bit number 4 and deactivate bit number 0. So that this is 5E. Let's read again the file from the dash, not the original. And now we have B2, 5V. So 5V in the 061 here. Let's close this. Uh, no. Let's exit. Read. Do you want to continue? Yes. Let's go to instrument that is 17. Dashboard. Adaptation. The adaptation channel is 36. Let's go. I close it. So 36. Start. Now it's 101. Uh, first was 100. So 101 is the value for uh, the needle sweep to be activated. And 111 is for uh, the um, lap timer, but it's not working. I have to see to check it out. But I really don't need it. I don't do laps with this car. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy it and you like it. Please consider subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye.